Hey, Suzu, welcome to the video. Getting back into the game called Webbed, where you're a spider. It's already beaten the game, so I guess it'd be more of a review. I'd say easy, 8 out of 10 game. Graphics, characters, physics, all of it's really great. I guess you could say the story, kind of basic. The objectives can be done in basically any order. Yeah, this, this dude right here, he was living in his parents' house. He's actually living in a pile of dung, which is pretty gross. And your parents wanted you to get him out of the house, so now he's here. Hey, neighbor. Let me know when the next mission is going to be. I'm going to be the muscle. So now he's got some goals in life. Whee. So this, I think it's all mud. You can't grab any of it with your webs. Let's see, there's something up here. There we go. Put a bunch of webs everywhere. It's easier to navigate. Oop, missed it. Get it this time, though. The game, also, the game also basically has a pacifist and a genocide route, but it only applies to flies, like this one. Well, not this one, he's too big to eat. But uh, they got a bunch of little minions. Let's see, had two different save files. Is it tab? Is this one where I ate them all? So you can see each of the levels in the game, and it tells you what objects can be collected there. So, like there's the ant larvas, there's the little spider babies, the pollen. Nothing up here, though. This is the end game. It's yeah, so this one where I'm past fist. Greetings, Spider. I appreciate your visit and your continued virtue by not eating the little fly friends. What's funny is even these little NPCs, you can stick them to the ground, you can attach to them. And they always try to pull away. Because they've got, like, a spot they want to stay. And so when you mess with that, it causes them to get all freaked out. Like that. See, now you're trying to fly away. Okay, stick to the web. You gonna be my friend? You'll never leave. You'll always be my friend. Boop. Just swing around here. Get out of the way. So the ants are like uh, the technological creatures. You call them creatures? Insects. Anyway, they build a little hot air balloon for you. It's not here anymore, because it already did the job. You got this little moth. Can't talk to him, apparently. You said everything you need to say? Wee! Why don't you go up there? He's like, no, I have to be right here! So you can be a total jerk and just stick people to everything. Let's see, where's the... And they have these little stickers. Which each has its own little effect. Like you get a little hard hat. This makes me into Robo Spider. You just click it again, deactivate it. And this makes me a crap head. Yeah, and another thing you can do is you grab these and use them as a parachute. Whee! So you hold down to fall faster. And there's little gusts of winds in different parts of the levels. And you use those to float away. So here's the spider mama. You gotta get her spidey babies back. You see they're all crawling around on her back? Kinda gross. So basically, your character is a lady spider. And you're trying to save her boyfriend. And when you complete the game, you get a sticker that turns you into the boyfriend. Because he shoots these super fancy rainbow webs. See, right here. Super party, ain't they? Oh, wait, I did complete the game. I gotta talk to you first. There's the sticker. Boom. We are the same. Now I can shoot rainbow webs too. Be jealous. So this was the initial web that got attacked by the stupid bird. And then this is the new one they build when you save them. So because it's on Steam, I think there's some achievements that you have to get the first time around. Otherwise, you have to restart the save file. So one of the objectives of the game is you need a guide to take you up to the Skyland where the bird lives. So you go to the beehive. They're hatching a princess bee. And so the achievement is collect all the pollen before you hatch the princess. Ouch. Ah, see? Here's the flies. Oop, they're flying like crazy. You can attach to them too. Oop, I heard a little spider back. There they are. Gotcha. So they got two modes in the options, too, where you can automatically eat them, and then this one where you have to press the button to eat them. And there's really no benefit to it either. So it's all for the achievements. The thing is, the fly doesn't want you to eat their brethren, but, like, what else would you eat? Would they be okay with you eating other insects? Don't you just starve? They just think spiders shouldn't exist at all? It's kind of rude. I mean, I think that's the whole point of Lion King. Circle of life is, like, they understand that animals gotta eat. It's just 
consideration, moderation. You can see there's a lot of maneuverability you can do, and you can even do it mid-swing. Oh, there you go. So this is how you know where to go next. Well, not necessarily next. This just tells you where the next area is. And unlike Spider-Man, you always know where the webs are connecting to. So it's more accurate to spiders. Or, you know, just not take it that seriously because it's fiction. That's the entire point of fiction. It doesn't have to be real. Wouldn't even necessarily want it to be real. Because you'd be like, oh, it's real. It's predictable because it's boring. I already know what's going to happen because it's based on real life. You wouldn't want it to be real anyway, because then real life would suck. But like, oh, life would be cool because then there'd be superheroes. Yeah, but then there'd be super villains too. So where am I going? Well, I'm heading towards the bee nest. Yikes. No real reason to them. Basically just playing mindlessly for funsies. I guess that's one thing people might have a problem with in this game, is that there's really no fast travel. Now I'm kind of stuck here because of that. So basically it makes a checkpoint wherever you land. It's like it. I landed here, so if I fell off, it'd reset me here. That's the only thing, if you cross the map and you don't land, then you'll end up being right back where you started. Hence why it's kind of a problem that there's no fast travel. But it is kind of a short game. This made it take uh, two, three hours at most. It'd take longer than that if you're trying to get everything, or if you just want to have fun. Ooh, I found my way to a spider web. Did I already find this one before? Nope. Howdy. You found one of my webs. Oh, it's spider webs, not spiders. He's just the only golden spider. Nah, eh, probably can't. I'm not trying to. Yoink! Haha. Uh -huh. Bully everyone. What are you gonna do? I'm a spider. Ooh, that was close. That's kind of thing that doesn't make sense about your webs breaking on those little pointy items. Because those are just thorns, right? Why can't your web attach to them? Up the tree, let's go. Dum, da, 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 da. Nice music, too. Let's check out the ants. I mean, even though the mech ant is already gone, I got some pretty cool technology going on down there. Basically, the Tony Stark of the insect world. It's a team effort, so it's Tony Stark's, or the Avengers. Ant Avengers, or Avenge Ants. See little ant buddies here. And you can pull them off the wall, too. Oop, what? You did that to yourself. That wasn't me. Weirdo. See? There. Take a ride. Whee! And shoot little lasers. This is your home now. You're in charge of guarding this. See? Move the boulder out of your way. Alright, so where's the money? You should pay me for that. Got something to say? Just debriefing Carl here about our airship trip. Got some new plans brewing. Collected a lot of useful data. We can better integrate the heated airship technology into the mech ant. Ooh, you're gonna turn it into an iron ant suit? So to deploy ground defenses against the fire ants at a moment's notice. So even though there's ants and fire ants, they don't get along. Couldn't have done it without you, comrade. Very helpful, engineer. I guess I've achieved the rank of engineer. Even though you're the ones that did all the work, I kind of just brought parts to you. And they got a ton of traps down here. As part of the lore, you could say, is it's due to the fire ants that didn't like to invade. Like if you activate this by being in the field, it deploys the spikes. Super dangerous. Also, they're really rusty. So not only are they super dangerous, but you get tetanus too. Boink. Ouch. Oh, come on, I landed down there. See, I landed right here. This is where I should go. You're a cheater. Yes, this is a delivery ant right here. I don't think you can pull them out of the ground, though. Can't grab them by the antenna. So it's only 10 bucks on Steam if you want to get it now, or you could wait for the next Steam sale. I mean, as far as I know, the next one's coming up for the winter sale. That's all for this video, though. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.